In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up taxonomies within your Premium Press theme. So let's get started. To begin with, log into the admin area of your WordPress website. Click on Premium Press, click on Settings, and now locate the Taxonomies page. On the left hand side, it's under Taxonomies, and on the right hand side, there's a link here for Taxonomies 2. From this page, we have two options. We can customize existing taxonomies, or we can create new taxonomies. Now, we can create up to 20 different taxonomies. But a word of warning, in WordPress, taxonomy searches are very slow. So try to add as few taxonomies as possible. Now, with creating and adding new taxonomies, these values are key values. So they're basically a reference in the database to that specific taxonomy. There's no need to customize any of these options here. So when creating a taxonomy key, Try to keep the values lowercase, do not use spaces or special characters, and avoid using numbers. If you create a value with space, it will automatically add a hyphen. Once you've created a taxonomy, we can go ahead and start to customize the display of that taxonomy. So from this page, we have a few options. We can change the icon, simply so click on the icon and enter a new one. We have the actual display caption, so as you can see here we have features. And if you're using multiple languages, you can click show translations and edit the caption for each of your languages. We have the option to manage the values. So if we click on manage values, you can go ahead and add values for that specific taxonomy. Again, with all taxonomies, you can edit the value, scroll down and change the translation for each of them here. Taxonomies are also displayed on the left hand side under the listings option. So you can see we have features, categories, as categories are also a taxonomy in WordPress, testing, testing with hyphens, and taxonomy order. And this is the section where you can go ahead and order all your taxonomies. Just drag and drop the display order. So if we go back to taxonomies, settings, taxonomies. Let's look at some of the other options. We have the option to display the taxonomy on the search page. We have the display option for the listing page. We have a multiple select option, which means the users can select multiple values. And an order by, which basically displays the order in your search results or on your listing and setup pages. Make sure with the order that you have unique values for each order. If you have two of the same values, then one of them will not display. So let's go ahead and show you how it works. If we go to the admin area under our listings and edit any of our listings, you can see where taxonomies are displayed. So as the admin, taxonomies are displayed on the right hand side here. And if you edit the listing as a user, they'll be displayed on the same location on the right hand side. So as you can see, we have three taxonomies. These are the three we have in the admin area at the moment. We have features, testing one, two, three, and testing with spaces. And the reason we have testing with spaces is because I've added spaces when adding my taxonomy and the system is automatically going to add a space. Now remember with taxonomies, these are unique keys. So if you go ahead and change a taxonomy key here, all of the values that you've added previously will be lost. So make sure that when you add taxonomies that you enter it once and then leave them alone. So for example, if this is the key I'm going to be using, I can just leave it after that. If I change the key, the database value for all of my values will be lost. So as you can see, we have invalid taxonomy. So make sure you create the taxonomy once and then just leave them as they are. Okay, so let's go back ahead and continue. So with the features, for example, you can see the features on the admin area here. You'll notice that if I click it, I have the option to select multiple. So as you can see here, I can select multiple different values. And this is because this field is the multiple select. So as you can see here under multi-select, we have the option here, multi-select. As you notice with testing one, two, three, there is no multi-select. So if I click on testing one, two, three, I can select a single value only. 
If I change this, if I click here, multi-select, save the settings, give it a refresh, you'll now notice the field value has changed and now I can select multiple values. As you'll also notice the field underneath testing with spaces, there are no values added. And that's because I haven't set any values. To set values for new fields, we have two ways. You can do it again on the uh, manage values option. You can simply click this and go ahead. So I can do uh, test value one, add test value two, add, and yes, you've guessed it, test value three, add. If I go back to my admin, give it refresh, you'll now see that when I go to edit or add a listing, the values are displayed in the box here. As you can see here, we have another two options. We have the option to search, uh, display on the search page or display on the listing page. So let's go ahead and do this. Since we've just added some new values for testing with spaces, let's click on these values to display these. Click save. Now I'm going to go ahead and save a listing. So this value, this listing here, I'm going to add it to test value three and click save. Now I'm going to go to my search page. I'm going to give it a refresh. And on the left hand side, you'll notice where it says testing with spaces. I have this test value one, test value two and test value three. And you'll notice straight away it's highlighted to say there is a listing available for this um, specific value. So I click to see. I can see this is the value, the, uh, the listing I've just set. I can go ahead and view the listing. And as you can see here, testing with spaces is also displayed on the listing page. And this is what it refers to when, it, when it's talking about the listing page option here. This is the section here at the top, testing with spaces. If I go ahead and uncheck this box, click on save settings and refresh. You'll see now that actual display for this taxonomy has been removed. So if you want the taxonomy to display on the listing page, make sure you've checked this box. And this is the same setup for search also. If you uncheck the box, click save settings. When you come back to the search page, so we go to the search page, you'll notice on the search page, there is no taxonomy. If I click, turn the box on, click save, give it a refresh you'll now notice that this search is also available for my taxonomy here. Now it's also worth noting that with searches, you can turn off the entire taxonomy system. So for example, if you've added lots and lots of taxonomies and then you decide you don't want them to be displayed on the search page, we can do this under the search options. So click on search settings under the settings tab. As you can see here, we have this taxonomy filter. If this is turned off, then when you refresh your search pages or your viewer of search results, you'll notice there is no taxonomies here. So make sure you've turned this on, otherwise the actual whole um, taxonomy filter will not be displayed. To view all of the taxonomies we currently have, you'll notice the options are also under listing. So as you click on listing, on the left hand side, you can see all the default taxonomies for WordPress. So these are all the ones that are listed under the custom post type listing, which is the one we use for our themes. So as you can see, taxonomies have got tags, features, so you can click here and manage all of the features, categories, testing one, two, three, which is the default one we've added, the test one we've added, testing with spaces again, and to change all the taxonomy orders, we have this option here, taxonomy order. You can simply select, so we've got testing one, two, three, and here's the default order for your taxonomies. If you drag and drop and change the order, that's how you change the order for your taxonomies. And again, as always, if you want to add or edit any of the caption displays, this is done under premium press, setting and taxonomies. So it's a very basic overview of the taxonomy system. Everything to do with taxonomies can be managed here. You can use the links here that are referenced and take you straight back to the options. So you can add and edit taxonomies. You can go ahead and change the caption, change the icon, just by selecting an icon and changing the display order here. Just remember when adding taxonomies, set the key once and then forget. So set and forget, set the value and then just leave it as is and then go ahead and customize afterwards. Thanks for watching.